These fever few daisies are very nice. Oh look, those two are having sexual intercourse while they're eating from a daisy. I suppose it could be considered vulgar. Perhaps I shouldn't <laughs> perhaps I shouldn't put it up on YouTube. The two of them are locked in coital, coital embrace. And they're having a sweet meat while they're doing it. I wonder who is the boss? Well, I mean, does there have to be a boss? I'm sitting in the long grass, afraid of a snake. They're locked in a union there. And he or she is sustaining himself on some sweet nectar. They're having a sweet meat together. The two of them. Are they male and female? Or are they two females? Or two males? I don't know. Well. So watching Harlequin bugs. That's what they're called apparently, somebody told me. Some kind person looked up and did my homework for me on YouTube and found out they were called Harlequin Bugs. And they're getting around in the fever few having fun. Where are they? Anyway, the fever few look beautiful, don't they? Apparently they can cure migraine, migraine, migraine if you make them into a tea. Where are those two? There they are, getting around. Look at that. It's for adults only, of course. They're harlequin bugs. type of Australian insect. Handheld. So it's a little jerky. I do like fever few. When I was a child I used to walk through a paddock every afternoon and it was full of white goats and white fever few. I used to try and pull them out and they used to give off that distinct strong smell. That strong fever few smell. Look at the pollen on them. I suppose the bugs would help spread the pollen. There they are. Getting about together. Sorry it's jerky but it's handheld. Harlequin bugs having sexual intercourse in the fever few. Looks like fun. I suppose he's the big one and she's the little one, but nature isn't always like that, is it? Sometimes a female spider is bigger than her husband. <laughs> husband, if you want to call him that. Look at them doing their buggy thing. I suppose you'd call it buggery. How close can we get? Not too close, I don't think. 
There they are doing their buggy thing. Look at the pollen on their legs. Yes. Sexuality pervades the whole of nature, doesn't it? I find that those harlequin bugs are equally colourful on their undersides. What a wonderful garden. I'm so lucky. It's Good Friday today anyway, so just having a bit of fun out in the garden. See ya.